Hey, what's up guys? Want to make a video uh showing this uh Frank B or Frank Beltram uh tactical stiletto. But more specifically, exactly how it functions. This is the mechanics of an Italian switchblade. Um what I had done here is removed both uh, handle scales here. On the tactical one, they're just a uh, you know, ABS plastic or some kind of a uh, synthetic here. Uh pretty simple, nothing fancy. And uh I had put the screws in my little skull baggie, which I tend to use for my knife stuff, just to differentiate between other little things. And uh, I used a micro screwdriver for this, okay? Just give you a close up, here's the screws that were on the handles. There we go, teeny tiny little flathead screws. So anyway, any uh, proper mini screwdriver work fine. Um, you can use one of those. Uh, eyeglass kits, screwdrivers, those will work pretty good if you need to find something on the cheap. You don't have to buy like a whole, you know, whole kit. Just go to your grocery store, or, like you know, where they have the candy. Usually they have that. It comes in a little tube, a little red cap on it. But anyway, all right. So those are the screws. Those are the handle scales. I don't need the. This is the back scale, and this is just uh, the only function of this scale is for grip. Okay, there's no inner parts or anything. So I'm gonna put that aside. We're not gonna be talking about that. But here's the front side, and here is the front scale. Okay, which does have moving working parts. It has our safety in here. All right, so what we have here is a modern um, Italian stiletto. And when I say modern, I don't mean like it was created last year. I mean like the last couple decades, maybe 30 or 40 years ago, or at least from the 60s. So looking at about 50 years ago. Uh, but anyway, what we have here is the swivel bolster lock, sometimes just known as a swivel bolster or a swivel lock. And once the blade is deployed and locked open, to disengage the lock, you... Uh, push down on the left bolster here or the front bolster and it will literally swivel around this pin and when it swivels you're putting pressure on the on the lock bar which lifts up and of course frees the blade okay so that's why it's called a swivel lock or swivel bolster uh, pretty pretty straightforward pretty cool design you can see how this locks into place is there is a uh, a pin on the spine of the blade or the tang and of course there's just a hole on this plate and very simply, the pin goes inside of the hole. It's a very simple design. And of course, again, to unlock that, we're pushing up on that bar by swiveling the bolster, and it frees the blade. Okay, so that's how the lock works. How does it actually function where it shoots out? Well, when the blade is inside, it, as you probably heard there, it clicks in place. Okay, and what's actually happening as you see the, the hole in the blade, and every Italian stiletto is going to have this, at least this particular style of stiletto. And what happens is, right there, okay, there's a pin. You can probably see that. That pin rests inside of this hole once the blade is inside the handles. Okay, it actually clicks in place because now it's holding pressure in there. Now you have a leaf spring on the inside of the handles, which I can't show you because I can't, you know, take this apart any further. But... It's basically inside the handle channel here, okay? The leaf spring is kind of angled up this way, and that keeps constant pressure. So that once the, uh, the blade, once we get to this point, we feel a little bit of pressure here, okay? That's because it is pushing against a leaf spring on the inside of the handles, all right? So it's building up pressure, building up pressure, but when that pin lines up with the hole, it locks it. It keeps it inside the handle. So to release all the pressure and to shoot that blade out, what we're actually doing is basically just lifting up on that pin. And there's a little lever here. It's very simple. You know, picture like a seesaw. Uh, when you push down on what is our button, all we're doing is pivoting on this point right here. And we're lifting that pin out, okay, which is going to free all the pressure of the blade. And it will shoot out into the fully open lock position. Very simple design. Very straightforward. Also very reliable. Uh, occasionally these leaf springs on the inside of these uh, uh, Italian stilettos will break if you have a cheap one, you know, a Chinese made one or whatever. But these uh, Frank Beltram ones uh, that are made in Italy are very high quality. And still affordable, under 100 bucks for most of the models. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to show you how that works. Now what happens is, this button is always kept on the, uh, you know, up upward position because of this silver metal piece here. You can see by design here, if I let this focus for a second, there is that piece of silver, or just in this case, just unblackened metal or steel. 
and that keeps pressure. Come on. Come on. Focus. There we go. Okay. So you can see that keeps pressure on this button the whole time. So when I pivot this, I'm actually lifting up on that spring steel. So if I let go, it's always going to go in the upward position. All right, so again, when the, the blade is inside the handles, it will lock. And the only way to release that pressure is to push down the button, which lifts up on the pin. And there we go, knife's open. So now I want to quickly explain how the safety works. The safety is very, very simple. Um, from the top, all we see is a pin. Down is uh, on, uh, you know, fire fire mode where if you push the button it will it will fire and up is safe and all we have here is just a sliding bar and that bar literally just goes right underneath our button okay so when you push this forward all you're doing is putting that bar underneath the button so it cannot be pushed down therefore this pin cannot be lifted up it's a really really simple design so uh, sometimes what will happen is some of these knives, uh, the slide, the safety, sometimes it gets pretty stiff. And it's just because of how the parts are, are lining up in there. It's rubbing on the bottom of the button. And again, you know, it just depends on, uh, not necessarily quality, because some of the Frank B1s are kind of stiff. But uh, if you, there's not a whole lot you can do in there without taking it apart and actually bending the steel just a little bit. You know, bending this down a little. Uh, oiling it does not help. So I just want to give you that tip there. If it is real slick. I mean, I suppose you could put a little oil in there. Any oil in between metal on metal will help a little bit, but sometimes they just need to be bent out. But anyway, again, to show this uh, functioning here, without screwing this down, I'll just hold it in place. You can see if I slide this forward, it's now underneath the button, and it will not allow me to depress that button and again lift the pin up and free the blade so it's safe. So when this is in your pocket or bag or wherever, uh, it's not going to accidentally get bumped and open up. But when you release that and put, pull it all the way down, it will now fire. So, just want to explain the mechanics to anyone who didn't know how these uh, Italian stilettos work. There are different kinds of uh, stilettos out there. Um, in fact, I'll show you another one in the future that's actually a lockback. Uh, still automatic stiletto, but... Well, I will be doing a review on this knife uh, in the future. Um, I got it from bladeops.com. But uh, I kept checking back, and they don't have it on their site anymore. I'm not sure if they're going to discontinue them or not yet. So uh, I wanted to find a uh, source for them before I did the review, so this way you guys can at least you know know where to go find them. Uh, of course, you know you can always do a Google search if you wanted. But anyway, I will be doing a review. I have been just trying to hold off on it because of that reason. Um, like I said, originally got it from Blade Ops, and uh, that's where I was going to refer you guys to. But now it doesn't look like they're going to sell them anymore. But anyway. Um, yeah, that's it. The Frank B's are definitely, definitely, uh, probably the best bang for your buck. Uh, getting a 20 or $30 one made in China, they tend to fall apart. They're real cheap. They use cheaper plastics if, they, if it is, in fact, plastic. Um, but it's still not super expensive. To get a Frank B is still, like I said, under $100 for most of their models. You don't have to pay top dollar for one. It's not going to be some ridiculous custom $500 uh, stiletto. But anyway... Um, yeah, that's how the uh, mechanics work on an Italian stiletto. So, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. As always, hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.